Hey guys, I'm glad you're here. Was I taking you upside down and everywhere? I wasn't sure if this was working right. Let me turn off my device over here. I am so sorry for these rookie mistakes I've been making. I don't know what's going on. Is the stream okay? Who's in the chat so far? We have the frugal gal. How are you? And Adelaide Peterson. Is the stream on landscape the way it's supposed to be? It's showing up nicely, so I think it is. I'm going to close my door so we don't get the dog barking and all that. I'm really glad you're here, guys. We're going to take off with the bag we left off be behind last time when I talked about the fact that this Goodwill had not had jewelry jars, any jewelry jars in about a year. And then he said that his a manager came to his store and decided to go through the bins where they keep the jewelry. Oh my gosh, now this light doesn't want to work. To, where they keep the jewelry to scoop some out and put them in a bag. And this wasn't even taped up. It's literally just, just closed. And so I thought I would do that one. Let me see if I can't get this this lamp to turn on. I was going to start with a couple of Goodwill stories. Have you, have you guys heard any Goodwill stories lately? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. When was it? It was a, it was a lowly Monday night that I walked into the Goodwill. Very nice part of town. Uh, first of all, let me say I met a subscriber... I think it was the night before last, Miss Gretchen. If you're out there, hello. Thank you so much for introducing yourself to me at another Goodwill. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. But she told everybody I was a YouTuber. <laughs> I was like, oh, shh, don't tell these people that, I'm, that I do videos. <laughs> then they're not going to start tuning in and seeing what I find. But uh, they didn't have any jewelry jars that night. But we did um, find some at this place here. But let me tell you, I walked into the Goodwill the other day, and it's a very nice side of town. And they had a girl, and I shouldn't say girl because she was she should have known better. But it was so sad to see it because I don't know. I don't think I could ever be a policeman, guys. It's not it's not an easy job, and I kind of feel sorry for the people that get arrested. I mean, it was a girl around 29. Believe it or not, she was getting arrested for shoplifting at the Goodwill. And I know she's not the first. They have security at this Goodwill. They have a very nice female cop. I've um, talked to her a couple of times. She's very, very nice. And um, she's a sheriff, actually. And so she had the girl sitting in the corner, but she was handcuffed. And they had all her, all her stuff on top of the jewelry counter. That's why I happened to encounter the issue, because I walk in to look at the jewelry counter. And they did have three or four jewelry jars. I got one, because the other ones didn't look that great. And so they had her, her, all her stuff like right spread on top. She said, can we borrow this table? The cop told the, the clerk. And she's like, sure. So they kind of used the glass table and they were taking everything out. And the girl was dressed to the nines. I mean, somebody was saying she was a hooker, but I don't think she was. I, she didn't look that like, you know, with the short dresses and everything. She was a lot more classier than that. She was dressed a lot more classier than that. But anyway, maybe she was a high classic. I don't know. Anyway, she was crying. Her mascara was running down her cheeks, and she was just... And then they wanted to charge her with all kinds of extra stuff, guys, because, okay, she first of all, she tried to walk out. I, I, I managed to get the entire thing in my head. I wanted to film it. I really did, but then I was like, no, I don't want to take advantage of people's issues, and I, don't, I didn't want the cop to arrest me for something. <laughs> she, was, she was like on a rampage. She was basically telling the other cop, who was the arresting cop, who had to come, I guess, from the city, she and she was relaying to him, to the other policeman how you know what kind of charges to bring against this girl so first of all she said hey if you steal from the goodwill that bumps you up from a class b misdemeanor regardless of the amount that you steal it bumps you up to a class a okay so then so not only that okay and then they start looking in her purse because she keeps trying to grab her purse even though she's handcuffed and sitting down i don't know how she was i think she was doing it with her leg or something well of course they look in the purse and the cop knew it too she's like what are you trying to get your drugs or whatever well of course they pulled out the drugs big old bag of weed 
So they had tons and tons of charges for it, but I had no idea about that, about that if you steal from a charitable organization or a church, it doesn't matter the amount, it automatically goes to a class A or something like that. So girl, she started her week out really, really bad. Young, she said she was 29, and then to top it off, she had no ID. And in Texas, I, I asked my son, because he's an attorney, and I asked him, is there such a law, or was, you know, what's going on? Because the other cop didn't even know about that law. They were, like, schooling each other. They were, like, having clinic. And they were patting each other on the back because it was going to be a pretty good bust, you know, like three charges. Apparently, if you get arrested in Texas, I'm giving people a chance to come in, guys. And be sure and hit that thumbs up when you walk in. That's why I'm telling you my Goodwill stories. There's always Goodwill stories. So apparently, if you get arrested in Texas without an ID, that's another crime. And she kept telling the policeman, I'm nobody. And she was in tears. And, you know, she says, that's why I don't have an ID because I'm nobody. You could tell she was a little bit on the up in the clouds, but I felt sorry for her, you know, and I kept thinking to myself, I, I, I went home thinking, I wonder why she does that, you know, whatever it was she was doing, whether it was, she literally grabbed a big bag, like a beach bag, you know, like a wicker big beach bag, those really nice ones with leather handles, she literally stole that from the Goodwill, and then she filled it with clothing, really nice clothing too, all kinds of pretty dresses, and you know, like I said, this is one of the best Goodwills I go to, and, um, so I kept thinking, man, that makes me feel really bad, you know, that an adult woman, 29 years old, has to resort to, for whatever reason, her drug habit or whatever. And I kept thinking, I'm going to open the big bag. This is the one they put together for me in the back. They said, not for me, actually. He said that he hadn't had, a, he hadn't had one in a while, but his manager came and fixed one. She was willing to jump in the bins there and fix one up. So anyway, I felt really sorry for the girl, and I kept thinking when I left, I thought to myself, you know, if I ever retire from teaching children, I would love to work like in a rehab or somewhere where adults could get the help that they need because there are some la lost people out there, as you all know. You don't have to read a newspaper or the news. There's some really, really lost people out there, and that's what I went away feeling with that poor girl. I know I shouldn't say poor, I know, but I just feel bad when people make stupid mistakes like that, you know? There went her life again. All right, let me say hello to people, and then we'll, we'll look in this big old pile of stuff that came out, and I really appreciate you guys being here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, you know. It was really sad, because they were like, yeah, you're going to be able to charge her for the Class A. It went up, and then she doesn't have an ID. And then, of course, they pulled out a humongous, and I'm talking humongous bag of weed. I hadn't seen one like that, gosh, probably since 1975, you know. I, I mean, it was huge, and she was just, like, really unhappy about that. But what can I say? And it makes me feel bad that people make those kinds of mistakes and that their lives are so, so messed up. You know, it's like in and out. She's probably in and out of the prison system. I mean, the, what do you call it, the law, law system or whatever. I know it. I just feel it. And she was young, 29, 29 years old, you know. There's got to be more to life than that. Anyway, uh, Anita's here. Maria Frugal Gal was the first one here. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. And it looks like a lot of people hit the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Um, Delia. Let me see. Martha. I'm going to get started. San Juana. And then I'll say hello to a few more people in just a minute. All right. I'll try to bring it up from the beginning. All right. Here's a really nice gold earring. But it looks like it's broken. Or did it go with something different? That looks kind of interesting. Let me see if I can move this a little bit because I seem to get out of balance sometimes. And I am missing a light. How is the stream and how is the view? Because I don't know why this lamp doesn't work sometimes. There it goes. Okay, there it goes. Now yeah, that's better. All right, so gold something or the other. Looks like it's broken though, right? Yeah, it's a broken piece. hate that. And a lot of cute little watches. This one's pretty. A little slap one with a heart on it colorful colorful watch cute and here's a little vintage earring clip on oh, i need to pair these earrings up i've got them all sorted into colors and <laughs> this is so funny guys you're not going to believe this this is actually mine 
<laughs> I can't believe it. This is my magnet that I used to carry to the Goodwill because it had a big old magnet, right? <laughs> and one day, I guess it broke and I couldn't find it, but then I found the magnet and I couldn't find my little magnet from the church. And because this is one of the churches that, that we frequent and well, that we used to do volunteer work and stuff with. And I had, this was actually mine. So I couldn't find it. And then I saw it there at the Goodwill for the longest time for sale for 99 cents or whatever it was, $2.99. And then here it comes in my bag. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It came back home. That is so funny. Oh, that's a different ring. <laughs> Just a little piece of garbage, pretty much. Plastic. <laughs> it's a fun ring to play with, though. I may give that to my grandchild. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's hilarious. Here's a pretty little silver earring. A heart with some little scroll work there or something. That's kind of pretty. Put that with the silver jewelry. Here's a huge earring. That's pretty, actually. Looks needs a little cleaning, I think, but it's kind of cute. Yeah, I am definitely going to have to give it. This is crazy. All right, that's a big earring, too. I don't even know where to put that one. It's multicolored. I did like this one. And is it two? Yes, these are matched. These are really pretty. They're blue. These are plastic. They're all plastic, but they really look like glass on a rope chain, and they are two matched up earrings so that's nice i like that here's a bag of something let's see what's in the baggie so yeah that was a crazy way to start the week with my um goodwill story there and the ladies i was when i was checking out i was like man y'all had a crazy night huh she goes every night every day she says something happens in this store it's nuts well, they have a security for a reason, I guess. Okay, here's some vintage-looking uh, men's accessories. Some toque tie clips. This one's actually engraved with some initials, and they're really pretty. I don't know. I wonder if they're not sterling or something. JW something, it says. These are kind of cool. And some people don't care about monograms. They will still buy and wear things. Well, that's pretty cool. I need to put a men's accessory lock together. Another Brighton watch. I think it's Brighton. Yeah, I have about three Brighton watches, and one of them I have put a battery on, and it did run. This is pretty. So that's good. What did I tell you I paid for it? Okay, he it was 39 and then when we were talking about why he hadn't put a bag out, and he's really nice and everything, he said, what do they have on there, 39 He said, I'll let you have it for 29 That's too much. And then I get a discount. So I got it for about 20 And this is a Brighton watch. And look, they had it originally $19.99. So that's good. I'm glad they went back there and scooped some things together. Very nice watch. This is the third Brighton watch I get. Do you guys like Brighton watches? I think they're so pretty. This one still has some very nice color on it. I think one of them that I have has a little bit of discoloration. This is not bad. So we'll have to get a battery for that. Let me see who else is in the chat. Mm, Martha is here. San Juan, I said hello to you as well. And Roland Picker. Hey, Mike, how are you? Guys, if, I'm sure you're probably subscribed to Mike over there at Roland Picker, but he does a show pretty often, and he's been helping Sandy out too. I'm enjoying the way you and Sandy are doing that show. It's a lot of fun like that because it, it's kind of like watching um. What were those old, um, not old because they're still doing them, but the, like a sidekick show like Johnny Carson and Egg McMahon and David Letterman and that other guy in the band. And, you know, it's kind of a little, a good rapport between you two, you guys. All right. This is a cute watch, actually. It's got a teeny tiny face, so small I can't even read it. But I'm going to look at it because I like the band. It's kind of like an ostrich thing on it. And it is a Manhattan Quartz. So I like the, the the band quite a bit. It's like an ostrich skin. It's probably not real, but, you know, just embossed and stuff. It's pretty cool. Hey, Carla, how are you? Okay, this is a cool little earring. It's kind of a bronze-colored chain. Let's see if we can't find the make to that. Here's a pearl earring. Here's another watch. Doesn't look that great. 
It says Peck and Peck. I've seen that brand a lot, too. Let's get these watches out of the way. This is a pretty band. Dolly, I think it's no details. I like white-faced watches quite a bit, though. And that is a nice band. Black and silver bezel on that. Here's a little crystal-looking earring, blue. Oh, this looks like that one that I found that was gold. And I found it at that at that Goodwill, but I never got the other jars, and I bet it was in the other jar, but I, this is probably not it. It's silver at the top. It's just a gold color one. Okay. Oh, here's a nice little hair accessory. Looks new. Well, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay, again, this jar was $19 with all the discounts and talking that we did. The lady that was standing next to me, she was hearing me talk to him. And she's like, you really know how to talk to them and get them to do what you want, right? I was like, what? She was like, yeah, the words you were using. And, you know, I was like, well, I did, I did study psychology. <laughs> but no, I was just telling him, yeah, I think they were a little cheaper at one time. Because he's the one that said, hey, that's kind of high, isn't it? And I said, yeah, I think you used, to, you used to, you know, price them a little bit lower. Maybe not 39 but 29 So he lowered it down to 29 Then I got my little discount. This says Faith on it. It's a little angel. It looks like pewter, actually. And it is, um, I think I've seen this before. Yeah, it says Marcy in the back. I have a few items like this that have that, it's kind of like a handwritten hallmark or hand etched there. Uh, another watch. This one's pretty too, actually. Let me see what this one says. Geneva. The infamous Geneva. In every jar. Oh my gosh, this thing is full of watches. I'm going to tell the guy. Take the watches out. Put them in separate bags. Some people do that. Some of the thrift stores do that. And I like when they do that because then I don't find a lot of watches in mine. You know what I mean? And I can just reject them. All right, this one just says fashion earrings. Purple. Still in the card. This was kind of cute. It is a shell medallion. It's got a little zebra stripe and some black beads. They're plastic, though. Not a bad looking piece though. They want it way too much for it. Ten dollars at one time. They really have nice jewelry there too. Okay. Now these sport watches, I don't mind getting too much. If you can get them to run, you can get a good ten to fifteen dollars from them. So that's not bad. Especially if they're, you know, baby G, if you get lucky enough to get that. This one just says smart health. So it must be some kind of a fit watch or something, fitness watch. Oh, this is cute. I wonder if this is from that Click Clack. You remember that brand? It kind of looks like it. It was actually a spawn of the Swatch Watch for kids. Let me see if it is. Because it looks like it is. It's actually called Flick Flack. Yeah, this is cool. All right, this one I like because this one teaches kids. It is Swiss made and it teaches the kids how to tell time. And I actually have one that I like because it has a puzzle piece and I really am into autism awareness and advocacy. And it actually fit me. So yeah, it's Flick Flack is the brand guys. And it is a um, maker, the same maker as Swatch, Swiss, ma Swiss, Swiss made watches. So they're very well made. They really last forever. And But these are made for children. Look at that. It's got little mermaids and stuff. These are a little cleaning, but it's super cute. And if people are aware of the brand, it will probably sell. So that was good. I used to have two of those. Okay, here's a huge watch. This one also says Geneva, but it's a nice color, pink. And I have sold the Geneva watches. If I can get them running and they look good, they do sell. They're not going to make you a whole bunch of money, but it's better than throwing them away. Okay, here's some gold earrings, silver earrings. This one looks a little bit worse for wear, so I'm not going to save that one. I'm going to put that one in a crafter lot. And these are cute. I think it's two in there, isn't it? Yeah. This one's pretty. I like it. It's on a wood backing with sort of a silver medallion, and they're not too heavy. These are pretty. Very boho. I think these might sell. Save those. 
I don't know about these, yellow and silver, but you never know. They're kind of flashy. They're really, I don't know, I keep t referring to my boss. She's young, a lot younger than I am. She's the, the dean of the school. And um, she wears a lot of flashy earrings. And it seems like that's really all that she wears. Like, that's her, her main point. I don't see her with necklaces or rings, but she loves those big flashy earrings. I mean, not necessarily big, but like a bright color like that. She was wearing yellow the other day. I thought they were little bananas, but they weren't. And then she was wearing lime green, and she she's always wearing those tassels as well. Those are really popular. All right, a brooch, a pretty brooch too. That's pretty with the calla lily, I think it is. And it's got a little stone in the middle there. That's a nice one. I don't know if it has a maker's mark. Let's check and see. I don't see anything off the bat. No, nope, I don't see anything, but that's very pretty. That's a nice brooch for Easter. Very pretty. All right. And here's one earring in the little box in the card. Maybe the other one's probably loose. What is that? It's just like, this looks like something homemade. It's like, I don't know. Weird. All right. Here's a little stretch ring. This is pretty. This is really pretty with big stones all around it. Stretch. I'm going to have a lot of rings on, to, to put up for the auction. Definitely. But I'm putting up a lot of silver. That's what I'm trying to get together right now is um, some genuine sterling silver lot to put. Not necessarily in a jar, but I'm going to put it like in an, I'm going to call it an open face jar. <laughs> and I'm going to show it to you. And then I hope to have a virgin jar as well. This is a pretty earring, too, here. I like this one. I'll put that in the silver lot. And I do like this one, too. Black. It's plastic, but this little tag is attached to it. It looks like it's intact. This is a nice little stretch ring. really is cute. Okay. A little fashion earring there. Yeah, exactly, like an open face sandwich. I could not get my husband to understand what I was saying. I mean, he knows what an open face sandwich is. But he was like, so you mean you're going to show it? And I was like, yeah, I'm going <laughs> to, I don't know. We just kept arguing back and forth. He was like, yeah, so it's not, but it's a jar. No, it's not going to be in a jar. I'm just going to call it an open face jar because it would be what I would put in a jar if I were to make my own jar, but it's not actually going to be in a jar. This is pretty too, black beads. And I think they're plastic, but they look really pretty. I like that design. And I love that hook because it doesn't get lost. This is a really pretty watch. I love it. It looks so 60s, very mod. It says, time will tell, quartz. Yeah, that's a pretty one. It's a stretch, which is kind of cool. That's really pretty. I like that. I hope we can fix that one. The stretch is nice and taut, too. All right, we got a lot of backs here. And it looks like they're all colors and types. So that's convenient. I always save those. Uh, we got another one of these angels, so now we have two. I wonder if they were earrings. I don't know. They're pretty, though. They could be earrings. I could get crafty. Let's pull out some other stuff. Oh, here's some of those exotic earrings. Someone told me chakras. I'm not sure. I don't want to insult anybody. I forgot the actual name, but these are very nice. They're kind of Indian or Pakistani. Pretty. And we did get a match to this one. And now we have a purple one. These are pretty. See, this is the kind of stuff I could see that that lady that I'm telling you about wearing something like that. So I hope I find the match. Purple is so pretty, too. I, really, I think the bright colors do look really nice in earrings. All right, we got Frozen and a watch, the girls, the sisters. And a watch there. And a locket. That's nice. It's kind of tangled up with another locket. These look kind of modern. They don't really look like they're vintage, but they're pretty. But you never know. I've been fooled many times. I'll open it and it'll say sterling. Because sometimes they're so shiny, they just don't look like sterling. 
This is, oh, this is cool though. It's kind of like a little see-through cover or just filigree there. Both of them are. Those are nice. I don't believe that any of that is sterling. Let me check it with the magnet. Yeah, it's all sticking, but very nice. So let me move this. Hey, Ruth, how are you? Hey, Cindy, how are you doing? I got to go back and watch your video. It came out earlier when I was at work, and I can only watch so much without not doing my job. Then I'll get kicked out. You know, I, you know, I only have 30 minutes here and there. And I worked late today, so I watched a little bit of Sandy when she she was working on that fabulous coral ring that I suggested. And now she's going to put it up for auction. It's going to be so fabulous. I know it's going to go high. That's a pretty earring, too. I like that one. That's really nice. So I hope we find the match to that. And we've got some some real tangles in here, guys. That's what happens with a live jar. This is an interesting little hoop. It's super thin, almost needle thin. That's pretty, though. I like that. And some more hoops. Beaded strung on a wire, fishing wire type of hoop. And another hoop. I'm going to put these aside so I can start matching them. Here's a pretty watch. It's like a little bracelet watch. I like the face on it, but it is missing some stones. So I'll probably put this in the crafter lot. A little clamper fashion watch. Okay. And here's a broken piece of something. Yep. It looks like it was like the ends of a bracelet or something. Here is a very tin like something or the other. I don't know what that is. I don't know where it was supposed to go or what, but I like this meshy bracelet in the back. If you guys know what that this almost looks like something that would belong on a wine bottle, like a little neck ring for a wine bottle or something. All right, here's a pretty little bracelet. Or a hoop. Oh, yeah, it's a hoop. Man, I thought it was a bracelet. I once had a Bakelite, what I assume was a Bakelite, now that I don't have it anymore and I can't test it. It was a really pretty bangle bracelet I had bought at an antique store, and it was embellished with rhinestones like that. And that's what I thought this was. But it's a hoop. Okay, we do have a match on this one. That was the clip-on earring. It is plastic. Here's a pretty bangle, black. Just a simple bangle, kind of pretty though. It's probably too big for me. Yeah, it's huge. Okay, here is a bag of really bright earrings, still bagged up here, packaged. Hey Leanne, how are you? What? I saw some of your some of your haul today, but I didn't get to finish watching it. You found a huge, you found a designer bag. Awesome! You're always finding those good bags. You're always finding really good stuff at your Goodwill. Really good stuff. Well, these are kind of cute. I like this. Oh my goodness! I have to watch it. I didn't get to finish watching it. Just watch the beginning. I think you showed a fossil and some other little wallet, and then I had to go. I tell you, I just watch a little bit of everybody <laughs> come back and hopefully catch up. Here's a little bangle. I mean, a clamper watch. And another watch. Oh, my goodness. That's another wraparound watch. Here is a ring that's at least not missing the stones, so that's good. And it still has a little tag of something. $7 on there. It's adjustable. No, it's not adjustable. Well, that's kind of cute. That's kind of cute, and it's not missing the stone, so that'll go into my ring lot. And here's a nice watch. This one at least feels nice. Purple lavender face on there. And that's an Anne Klein, so that's a good brand. Hey, Elizabeth, how are you, Makeup Zombie? That is really cute. 
I just did a sales video and I showed one of the first things I showed that I sold was something I got from your well, some of your very first sales, Elizabeth. And I hated to sell it. Actually, I had bought that lapis necklace for myself. It's the first item I show in my sales video. Oh, so I did get a match on these. I like these. And but I just couldn't wear it. It was kind of heavy and uncomfortable. So I kind of sacrificed it, really. I only got $25 for it. I thought it was worth a lot more. But, you know, you can... Oh, I really like these guys. I may wear these tomorrow. Uh, but you can only hoard jewelry for so long, really. You just kind of have to give it a new home sometimes. This is a cute earring, too. I was hoping it was a ring. It reminded me of a like a Native American when I saw just a little bit of it. But it's not. It's just a... But it's pretty. It's a clip-on earring. Is it missing something? No, I think it's supposed to be like that. And maybe we'll get the match. That would be very nice. Because it has sort of... Um, yeah, it's supposed to look like malachite and coral. That's kind of cool. I really like that. Yes, you can only hoard jewelry for so long. I mean, I'm taking offers. And it's funny, but I reduce my prices as well. I'm doing it constantly, especially on... on on Poshmark because the shipping is so high and I reduced a couple of things today and I just got noticed that I sold um, a necklace and I think I only reduced it by about four dollars but I think that really gent look at this cute pin guys brooch I mean whatever it's so cute it's like a little collar one looks like a 1928 or something but maybe not it's got a I don't think it's vintage or anything but it's really pretty I like that Oh, that's cute. Can you see that on the... I have a Victorian blouse that I've had since like 71. And my daughters have worn it for every Halloween. Every time they want to be a witch, they put it on. But it's so pretty. And I used to wear pins like this back in the 70s and 80s. And I'd wear my hair up like a Victorian chick. It was crazy. Crazy stuff. But it was fun. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. All right, we're getting our 20 bucks back real quick. And I got that Brighton watch, too. Now all we need to do is find some sterling. That would be so much fun. Oh, look at this, guys. Little Scotty dogs. Leanne, how are your puppies? I think I saw them. Don't you have two? Are they doing okay? And I know you had had a little trouble with them being a little sick. I hope they're doing well. They're so cute. Maui, I know, is one name, right? Oh, they're darling. I was thinking about that when I saw these little pups. That's about the size of your puppies. They're so cute. All right. That was really cute. They're doing good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. All right. Here's a little orange ball. I'm so glad 85 people are here hanging out. I really appreciate it, guys. I hope you take the time to subscribe. You'll see a lot of jewelry talk, reseller talk, but sometimes we just talk about crazy Goodwill stories and... Anything else that pops into my head, or I'll show you just a regular good old-fashioned thrift haul, which is coming up really soon. I found some Burberry that i got to show you. It's amazing. All right, here's a watch. Oh, it's kind of cool. It's got rhinestones. It's um, no, not a big, not a Ann Klein or anything, just a normal, typical brand, cheap little Chinese brands, but they sell anyway. Plastic bangle. Oh, my gosh, trash. Crafter lot. And uh, what else is in here? Oh, that's a pretty earring. That's a really nice earring. And it's very pretty in color still. Uh, the reason I say they're nice is because people buy these. I sell these like crazy on, on Etsy and eBay. People really still love their clip-on bold dynasty era earrings. They really do. So I'm happy when I get things like that. That look well made. Okay, so we got a match on the purple. That's cute. I'm really thinking I'm going to list those. Now that I see my, like I was telling you, my boss constantly wearing cute little bright earrings, I think they might be popular. Here's a pretty brooch, too. It's a circle brooch, but it's a little bit kicked up a little bit, kind of a swirl, and it's still very nice and colorful as well. So that's cool. And I don't see a maker mark on it, but let me look back here in the corner. Sometimes it looks like something is there. And uh, then I don't see it till later. It's not marked, but it's very cute as far as the color still being very nice. Okay. Oh, here's a little men's thing. 
Sometimes these are 10 karat gold, guys, even 14. I found some, actually I found, what was it, 12, 12 karat, and they sold for about $300, close to four, because they were really different. They were in the, in the design of an abacus. The math apparatus, or manipulative. And uh, they actually moved and everything. They were super cute. All right, so I'm going to put that in the men's stuff. We do have a match on this earring as well. Hi, Lizzie. How are you? But it is tangled in this necklace, which is tangled with this necklace. And I don't know how it got in there, but it did. So I'm going to pull that out of there. That's the earring to the one that we just pulled out of here. I'm not going to waste too much time untangling it. I'll take that to my husband when he gets back to his workbench <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> He's now a jewelry designer, guys. He's good at it, too. He really is. He's been enjoying it, too. And he's been paying a lot of attention to Sandy. And he's like, oh, I think I could. Maybe I could do that. Because he welds and does all that stuff, too. So, I don't know. I know it's not the same thing. But he's very interested. All right, here's an enamel earring. That's pretty, too. And I like this necklace. That's very pretty. Look at that. But it is tangled up. So, we'll pull it out of this tangulation later and again it's tangled up with this blue one which is nice as well not as nice as the purple one but it's pretty it's kind of like that pearls and kind of turquoise colored strands it's nice i really like the purple one though so we'll fix that oh and then this purple one was tangled up in there too this one just has sort of a ribbon or threading type of stranding there, or string, I guess, stranded together. I like the one in the middle a lot. I wonder if it's not silver. Let me check it with the magnet. It's not sticking, because it really has a, a nice color. I always get suspicious when they have this nice color. It might be sterling, guys, and look. These these hoops look yeah look at the hook on it, I thought it was an earring hoop I th hoop or what do you call it hook, I think this is sterling, I'm very suspicious of it now, this is an interesting, an interesting class for this, for this necklace and the purple stones or glass or whatever oh there it came off, and I have a feeling it may just be sterling silver, for sure. Still an earring attached to it. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, I bet this is. It just looks like it. It's very well made, too. See? See the links? And they're smooth. They don't feel snaggy or anything. And then even the... And it's always in the details. Even the little end part has a little dangle there. So, I think it's fabulous that this is very, very likely... Sterling silver. Here, it came out. Yay. Yeah, look at that. It, it really looks exotic, too. Like, it's not made domestically. I wonder what kind of stone that is. Maybe amethyst. Let me look at this close and see if I don't see a mark. Let me grab my loop real quick. I don't see a mark right now, but I do see that it looks like sterling just from the the detail on it, the color of the metal. There's no there's no rust or tarnish. Well, there could be tarnish, but I don't see like the silver type of tarnish or anything. So I have a feeling it is. I'll test it tomorrow. It's very nice. That was wonderful. Good find there. Okay. Now, yeah, that's really cute. It's just a little fashion earring with a pearl and a turquoise colored dangle. Here's a little pup. Or is that a cat paw? I can't tell. But it's cute. Oh, it's a domino. I like when they do that. And this is nice leather. That's really cute. Pretty. 
I'll have to put that in my grandchild's collection too. She might like that. All right, another earring there. And we did have the match for this earring. Did I pop that out? And a stretchy bracelet. Another pretty watch. This one's actually pretty. I like when they're at least nice like this, like fashion. Uh, oh, this is Anne Klein as well. It has like an opal colored, excuse me, it has like an opal colored face too. It's pink, but it really gives off that opal sheen. We have two matched earrings here, but yeah, okay, they're together. I thought that one of them was broken. That's pretty. Nice teal color on those. Okay, another watch. Oh my goodness, how many watches have we pulled out? Like 20? That's crazy. Well, again, it was only $20. This one actually has the date in the corner there. I had it for... It doesn't say anything but quartz on it. That's interesting. Okay, here's a big giant earring, gold. I did have this one, so this one's already matched up. And another one of these, which I don't know what it is. If you guys know, let me know. It's not an earring, I don't think. That is so funny. It's very tinny, but I, this is like a mesh I don't know but there's two of them um oh my goodness I think this is definitely 80s and somebody decided to take up leather craft or something and make an earring big earring huge earring all right a Christmas tree brooch these are actually cute and I have sold them <laughs> I had one shaped in a heart and I sold it on eBay so don't scoff at these guys, these little button crafts. Some people really like them. Stick them up on eBay. They will sell. This one's cute. It's a little Christmas tree. Gosh, have you guys started selling your Christmas jewelry? I've sold it before we even got into October. I think in the summer I sold Christmas jewelry, and I have not listed anything new. I really need to. This is pretty. This is big. That's a big drop earring there. This is kind of champagne colored at the top. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way. I think it is. And then this one looks like a little crystal, not a rhinestone at the bottom. And it also has kind of a champagne tinge to it. So that's nice. Another earring with a pearl on it. And this one does have a mark. Let's see what it says. Nope. See, it has little, oh, it does or it doesn't. I can't tell. No, it's just got little ribbing on it. It's just a little ribbing. It actually looked like it said something, but it doesn't. How do you find the time to list and take photos? <laughs> it is very time consuming, Leanne, but I just, I try to do it like on the weekends and I join, uh, there's a channel called Chick Picker. No, yeah, I think that's the name of her channel, Chick Picker. And she does a challenge where we basically just hang out on a Sunday and they do it on Wednesday too. And they kind of motivate you to just take pictures that day, list them. And if you can sell them as well, you'll get a point and you get money because we put money into a pot. That really is motivating just watching other YouTubers who do the same thing. And um, again, I just do everything on my phone. I don't do anything on the computer. It's all from the taking of the pictures to the listing is done on my phone and I do it every chance I get. This is a really cute little bracelet watch. I do it when I'm in line at the post office to mail things off. I'm doing when I'm waiting for my daughter at her appointments or anything like that. Uh, I mean, I just pull them out. I've always got a stack of photos somewhere or I, I'm relisting or this is cute little dragonfly. I always call these fireflies and they're not, they're dragonflies. And I just find the time to do it, you know? It's like I tell my students, it's, <laughs> we all have the same 24 hours and it's not a matter of, they tell me, I didn't have time to study. I don't have the time. I was like, you make the time, you know? And that's basically what I do. And that's why I'm up right now, trying to make a video and show you guys what I'm hauling here when I should probably be asleep. But who's gonna go to sleep right now? I can't, go. my husband's not even home yet. He's working late too. So whenever I can, I just do. These are cute too. And I did find a match to that big old giant one. 
So somebody will be happy with their big button earrings. And um, and I don't list as fast as I should. I tell you what, that's why I'm going to start putting everything in, in lots. That's why I like to have giveaways and stuff like that because there is only so much you can list in a lifetime. <laughs> but I try my best. Here's a little liquid silver, but it's obviously not genuine in any way, shape, or form. Faux turquoise imitation silver, but it does have the look. Very fashionable. And this does sell as well. I've sold the faux turquoise on Posh. People like the look anyway without having to spend the big money on it. Oh, this is the type of um, brooch that will hold your glasses. This is pretty. It's a nice design for that one. And some red earrings. These are pretty. but They are kind of losing their color. So this kind of stuff I eliminate crafter. I don't want to have to... Oh, this is another cute watch. Some of these are really cute. Look how pretty that is. I like it. I like the little designs on the side. Is that brightened too? There's a heart there. I don't know what that means. We'll check it out. Let me see what brand this is. Japan Movement. No, it just says quartz on it, but it's cute. It's very cute. It's not genuine leather. It's bonded leather. But cute nonetheless. And uh, we did have a match for this one. So that's good. Guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope you do so tonight. Like I said, we do talk a lot about jewelry and reselling because I do sell on eBay, Etsy, Amazon, Macari, Poshmark. And I've been doing it for about over a dozen years. So I enjoy it very much. It's a, always been my supplemental income. And it's kind of been a hobby because I've been a thrifter long before I was a reseller. This is my favorite motif. Oh, glory. I hope I find the other one. Um, so that's kind of what we talk about here a lot. We do like to talk about jewelry as well. Here's a little vintage, looks like milk glass clip on. So I hope you take the time to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button before you leave or as soon as you walk in the door, preferably. These are 80s little purple thingies. And look, I had some blue and the same as the yellow. These are pretty in blue. They look like denim. They're not, I like them better in the blue, actually. Okay, let me see what else we have. We have a blue dangle. Looks like turquoise, so very pretty. Not real, of course, but the color's nice. And we did have the match to the enamel. And this was a very well-made earring, too. I really like this one. And this hook looks like silver on this one. Maybe it matches that necklace. See that hook? Whenever I see those flat end hooks like that, I think they might be sterling and they usually are because they're not like the typical ones. But I don't see a mark on this one, but I'm still gonna put aside. Anyway. Here's just a little yellow one, the blue one. I'll put these up over here. The enamel did match another one. Here's a pretty golden black. Here's the ones I can't stand. This isn't even shell. What is this? It looks like um, corn pops, like the cereal. That's got a price or a tag. It says, Creations Diana, hundred made, hecho a mano, the handmade, Mexican craft. It's corn, isn't it? It's, I wasn't too far off. It looks like corn, and I thought it looked like corn puffs. Some kind of necklace. And someone was telling me to watch out for these because they can get pests. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not. This is a big tangle, too, so I'll probably put that in the crafter lot. And here's some little orange earrings. These are pretty. Some bead earrings. Those are pretty. A brooch. Another brooch. Was Did I get two of these? I did. I got two of the Kala Lily brooches. Wow. Check it out. Not bad. Yeah, so far it looks like there's some single earrings in here. I need to start making single earring 
lot. Someone actually inquired about them in an email. And, but I don't want to get like a bunch of junky ones like this. These are boring. I think they're junky, even though this one actually matches. <laughs> they're, you know, to me, they're just very dated. And I'd like to get like something that you could turn into a pendant. Something really pretty, you know. Like some of those elaborate clip-ons. Or something like this that you could make a nice craft out of. This is a pretty one. Bejeweled pearl here, and it is a clip on, but see, and it's even damaged. But this I would probably put in a crafter lot since it's damaged. It's missing a, a pearl. Okay, we do have a match on this one. Good. We do have a nice pendant. This is pretty the way they put the different colors there. I have seen people wear these, and I've been told by some of my subscribers that they like them. I have so many of these. It's crazy. I have no room to keep them in. I need to put a lot of those together, too, I guess. Or start listing them, see what happens. I do have a match to that one. And this was one of the first ones we pulled out. So these earrings are being matched, which is pretty nice. Most of them seem to have matches. This one also had a match earlier. So that's good. Let's see another watch. Why not? All right, this is uh, Ed Hardy. Oh, my goodness. Well, finally, we got a good brand. Ed Hardy's, of course, coming back. You know that, right? People are sporting that. What else did I hear was coming back? Crocs? We said Crocs are coming back. I still have mine, and I use them all the time around the house. They're very comfy. And it does have the Kills. Love Kills Slowly logo motif there. The design that was on everything. Yeah, I've seen a lot of hoodies sell for good money on eBay. And I have turned down a few at at, at um, the Goodwill only because they were a little bit more worn than I really thought would do well. So, But yeah, look out for your Ed Hardy, especially in the hoodies. We'll see how this watch does. I don't know. It's nice. Genuine leather band. 16 bucks at one time. Someone may like it. I know there's an Ed Hardy fan out there that wants that watch. The purses are cool. Yeah, I saw. I think I saw some of those too. I saw some beautiful, what brand was it? Two of them actually, but this is what I hate about some of the um, Big Buddha. They're not completely leather and they were coming apart. Oh, this is a nice pair of earrings. These are, these are enamel. I like them <laughs> because they have like a little leather lacing around them. And they had two of them the other day at the Goodwill. Brand new, beautiful style. But you opened it and it was all peeling on the inside. And they had it was almost like the size of a Neverfull. They were really, really nice. But I, I'm, obviously that's why the store donated them. They had that, you know, that issue. where they, And it was gold line, like a LeMay. But it was just a big mess of peeling stuff. Now, I have bought a big bag one time. It's like a tote bag that was leather, and it was lined with some kind of faux leather, and it was peeling. And I, I cut it off. I cut it completely out and just left the leather naked. And I still wear it to this day when I travel. It's a huge tote bag, and I get compliments every time I use that bag. And it's a, like a mustard, like this color almost. Yellow, beautiful leather. But I bought it anyway because I just loved it. It was huge. Okay, we do have a match on these, and these were cute. These were really cute. I like those. All right, we got a witch. How cute. How cute. It. I think it's a, is that a bee with a witch's hat and it's enamel? Or is it an ant? I can't tell. Tell me, guys. Let me take this price tag off of here. It's so cute. What kind of a little critter is that? Is that an ant? It's like an ant, right? It's got legs. Look at that face. That's too cute. And it looks like they put two rocks together and then enameled it all up and painted it and put a, a little witch hat on it. That's a cute brooch. I'm going to add that to my brooch lot. I'm also going to have a brooch lot at the auction. Oh, these are cute. I love this seafoam green in the heart shape. These are cute. I hope we find any other one. And these are already paired, big ones. They are pierced. That's nice. Oh, that's a price tag and stuff. Just throw it in here. Let me throw that over here. When is your auction? Mine is December 1st. 
Carla. God willing, it's December 1st. I was going to take November 17th. That was one of the next ones up. But I will be in Chicago from the 17th through the 20th, I believe, for my grandson's baptism. Oh, these are cute. And they're signed. I don't know what they say. So I had to wait. But I'm excited because I haven't been on there since we did, uh, I think, the charity auction, the benefit action, auction, rather, for Roland Picker. And I have been on there. I think twice before. Mono. It says Mona S.O. I've never heard of that, but that is a really interesting earring. It's like a enamel. So it's been a while, and I will have other things besides jewelry. I will have handbags, and I will have some masculine, manly things, too. My husband always throws in some things for the guys that I think do pretty well. So we'll do that. Okay. We did have that earring, so that one did. So I'm going to clean these up. I think they'll look really pretty, and I think they may sell. And so we will see. More jewelry. Mona jewelry is collectible. Well, thank you for letting me know, Fashion Reclaim. I didn't know that. I never heard of it. Here's a pretty drop earring, too. It's good to know that. Here's a little choker. Just a, like a little teenage fashion choker there. This might be a good rhinestone to harvest, though. I don't know. They put that in the craft a lot. And here's a little vintage-looking rhinestone. This is pretty. And, oh my gosh, this cloth is... This was actually the clean cloth I put down because the other one was already filthy. This feels like vintage, guys, because it's very heavy. It doesn't feel like the thin ones that you see at Claire's and stuff. But I could be wrong. It's, it's very nice, and it is hinged like there and there's the clasp what in the world looks like the clasp is missing two little rhinestones though box clasp that's pretty and I have sold these on posh matter of fact I sold one that I couldn't find it took me forever to find it that's another reason why I don't like to hoard jewelry because it's harder and harder to store it. Oh my goodness. I was seriously thinking of buying, because I have a dresser. I have like a little, I don't know what you would call it. It's not a tall boy, but it's like as as wide as a tall boy, but it's only got three shelves, three drawers. And it's my jewelry box right now for jewelry that is that is listed and that I want laid out flat. Here's a little stocking so it doesn't get tangled like necklaces and things. Not all of them because I have a lot of necklaces hung up. But I started to store things in there as well. That way I have what I've listed on another, you know, in another type of area. So I was seriously considering buying another small dresser like that just for the jewelry. This looks vintage too. It's got like a little dangle of a box chain there. And there's a crown. That's cute. With a drop. Let me see if it doesn't say anything. Nope. It doesn't say anything. But it is cute. We did have a match for the gold one. Just a little plastic one. And we do have a match for the crown. What did I do with the crown? I already put it away. So we do have a match for that one. Here it is. Need to put those aside. I don't have to fish for them again. And then this one was pretty too. I don't know if I had another one for this one. This one looks pretty 80s to me. It's a clip-on too. It's interesting. A little western thing going on here. Like a bandana ribbon and things. And here's a tiny little... I don't know what that is. That almost looks like the symbol for pi or something. But doesn't that look like the symbol for pi? Looks like it's a tree branch or something. I don't know. I can't tell. Guys, I'm sorry if, you, if you're if you asking me anything and I don't see it in the chat. I'm trying to get through it. This is a pretty big bag. All right. Music box. It looks like it's missing the other one. Made in Korea. These are vintage, I think. Okay, and then we did have the one for this. We have a match for that. We have a little smiley face. And I'll put that over there. 
This is pretty. Another stretchy ring with a pearl and uh, some moons. Those are always fun. Anything celestial? No, it's, is it a moon? No, it looks like it's just a half of something. And then I have another tie bar or something with the back of it. But sometimes those are precious metals. You just never know. It's sticking though. So nope on that. Put that over there. Here's a nice little hoop too with some dingles. And this is like a mesh. But it's tangled up. Okay, this is pretty. Chain mail, I think they call this, don't they? Chain mail? That's pretty. I like that. And these are kind of crystal-like. Peachy color, though. That's pretty. Okay, and then this is the one I thought was a moon, but it's not. It's just like a little crescent shape there. Pretty, though. And another earring. We've got a lot of earrings here. Let me just bring these out. We don't have to waste time on every single one. I don't really see anything that interesting. Well, these are cute. Christmas. Those are cute. I hope I find that one. And a Christmas earring. And OSU. I don't know. I guess that's a university. And just some more little earrings. We do have a match on this one, but it's definitely still missing the pearl there. I think I put that in the Christmas, in the craft lot, rather. Here's a pearl. Here's some more watches. Oh, my gosh. I've never seen so many watches. It's a Disney watch. Let's see what it is. Is it another? Oh, it's Mickey or Minnie. It's a little digital mini watch. Minnie Mouse. And here's a purple one. Pretty, though. Oh, my. Uh, there are probably 25 watches. How many have I counted? This one says Bob Mackey. That's nice. But it's missing a stone. That's an easy replacement, I think, if I would bother to fix that. Because that's kind of pretty. And a brooch. Okay. A Christmas. This is cool. A Christmas golf club. Golf. What's this? Caddy. I don't know what it's called. Case. That's cool, though. That's really different. Enamel, a wreath. There's got to be a golfer out there that might like that. Two targets right there, the golfer and the Christmas enthusiast. Okay, these are really interesting. Look at the shape of that. That looks like a piece of art or something. Some kind. Of, it's very sculptural. That's an interesting one for sure. All right, let me take a drink of my water and try to look at the chat for a minute. We've been on way too long already. You also do the auctions. Yes, you do. Carly, you haven't done an auction in a while. Okay. Fashion Reclaim, thank you for being here. Cindy, I'm so glad you're still up and here. Miss Raven. All right, let's keep going. Let's, let's forge on through here and see what else we find. Okay, these are buttons or beads. It looks like these are beads. I'll put that in the crafter lot. They probably, to, you know, to string up one of those stretchy bracelets. This is pretty. Little earring. Let me pull all these out here because I don't see anything else but earrings in here. I do have some matches, so that's always a good thing. I do have the match to this one. I think I had two pairs of that one. And that one, too. Oh, we have a vintage one here. This one has a little twist back nice rhinestones on this one this will be a nice one to harvest some rhinestones out of if we don't 
find the other one. I'm going to put that one aside. And, oh, we, do, we did have the other stocking. I have the Christmas ones over here. We have the other cowboy one. Put those in my jewelry lot. And yet another watch. This one looks like a vintage one, too. This one says what? Alice. This is an Alice in Wonderland watch. This is an old Disney watch. Doesn't even have the character on it, but I could tell it was old. It's really nice. I bet it's a wind-up. I hope so. I love wind-up watches. It's got a very worn band. Ooh, sorry about that, guys. But it's leather. Yeah, it's a wind-up. Oh, how cute. It just says Alice. That is cute. All right. I think we scored, guys, because people pay up for this vintage Disney stuff. Yeah. Even the color, you know, it just told me it was vintage. That is really cool. And it says Alice. So if anybody named Alice would love that as well. That is cute. They had it for $6 at one time. Let me see what it says in the back. It's a wind-up. I love wind-up watches. They're pretty reliable unless somebody wound it up too much. Just says in the back, stainless steel. And base metal, C CHR base, base metal or something like that. But nice, really nice. Alice in Wonderland, I'll bet. What else could it be, right? A little brass ring. Kind of a medallion style there. Cute. And another earring to match the others. So we are getting a lot of matches. They're not a bunch of empty... No matchy, whatever, onesies. This was interesting. I saw this, too. It's Starfish, I think. It says Fresh Crystal Collection. Adults only. What in the world? Let me read what that says. Hold on. No, it just says, uh, like, out of reach of children or something. But I don't know. I can't tell if that's a starfish or what. It's on enamel there. My bracelet got stuck here, guys. Sorry about that. Now I'm stuck to this cloth. All right, I'm loose now. <laughs> this is pretty, too. That's a pretty earring. And enamel. These match, too. And we saw that. We saw that. I think that's probably mostly what we have is a lot of earrings left over. There's some really nice earrings in here, though. Some of them are pretty. And, um, yeah, I don't think this was bad at all for 20 This doesn't even match. What in the world happened here? It broke. Um, not bad at all for $20. We even have an extra pair of these that were packaged. Look at these. Someone's going to love these. You know it. They're wood. You know they are. And this is a cute watch, too. This is a Nike watch. This is a nice one. This one will sell. And it looks brand new. This does not look scuffed in any way, shape, or form. It looks really nice. Yeah. They had it for $16. That's a nice sports watch. Sports watch. All right. We did get the match to this thing. Remember that? And... Got the match to the... Oh, no, this is different. It's a little mouse. Or is it a cat? Yeah, it's a cat. A kitty Santa. We did get the match to... No, this is a different one. This is a different vintage one. And there's another earring. And these match. These are cute. Earring lot. I have a huge shoebox of earrings that are all matched. And, um, yeah, I'm going to have that kind of stuff, too. Lots of things that are matched and that are decent and no junk. Anything that I say is in a crafter lot, you won't find in my auction or anywhere for sale. Um, this is cute. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It almost looks like they made this part, but it's kind of cute. And they could even put a picture there. It's a pendant and a brooch. That's really interesting. Oh, a Christmas tree brooch. That's pretty enamel, small. Got some Christmas jewelry in here. Very nice. And we did get a match to the black one. 
It, there is stuff all over this table, guys. I'm not quite done. Let me show you another brooch. Here it is. Another Christmas brooch. Looks like a modern piece. It looks like it's signed. And there's an earring stuck in it. And I do have the match to that earring, too. Way in there. But let me see what it says on the inside. Jerry? No. Yeah, this is a Jerry brooch. It's pretty. Some flowers. Yeah, that's cute. And then there was some stuff back here. Oh, okay, well, we do have a match to this one then. This is a vintage one too. It is just a twist. I like when they're twist and um, clip. I think they sell better. And we got two pink Christmas trees. <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> that is cute. And a butterfly earring. Oh, we do have the match to this one. I like this one. The little mesh with pink. Uh, let me just take a quick look back here. See what fell. Another watch fell. And this one is Little Mermaid. That one's cute too. I should put these up. They may sell during Christmas. People will be buying jewelry for their kids. Do a match for this one. I need to put those Disney ones up. And these are 80s junk. Definitely 80s junk on that. I think... That is it, because the rest of this is just a bunch of earrings, and we don't want to go through all of that. I need to let you guys go to bed, and um, so, and I need to clean up. <laughs> I did find the other kitty, so that's nice. These are cute earrings, and maybe I'll even take some pictures right now before I go to bed, so I can list a little bit during lunch tomorrow, because tomorrow's Friday. My kids get out early. It's early release. I have to go to a training, and we all know how boring those trainings can be. Oh, my gosh. It's just the same thing over again. Everybody asking a question that they've asked ten times. Oh, look, that's an initial A. That's my daughter's initial. I wonder if that's silver. No, not silver. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Thank you for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. There was a lot of us watching tonight. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up before you leave. And don't forget to come back, watch my sales video that I just uploaded a little while ago. And look out for a ride along coming up soon as well. Talk to you soon. Love y'all. Bye.